Welcome to the future of plastic extrusion. With consumer level 3D printing becoming ever more popular, the demand for filament extruders is growing faster than GME in January. The all new Big Squirta unit from PLA Squirters Incorporated is a stunning new take on the benchtop filament extruder concept, featuring an all steel welded frame, sleek laser cut electronics enclosure, intuitive front panel layout, avant garde hopper design, and a custom machined aluminum screw. Here's how we did it. We set out to design an extruder that was compact, sturdy, and could reliably extrude 1.75 millimeter filament with multiple types of plastic. To do this, we had $200 in 13 weeks. The extruder had to run off of a standard wall outlet, take in pellets or otherwise shredded plastic, get to temperature before the end of demo day, and extrude at least one kilogram of plastic per hour. After weeks of designing, building, and soldering, the device was complete. The pellets went in, and the filament came out. But how does it work? It all starts with the electronics. The incoming 120 volts AC gets diverted to a 24 volt power supply, the temperature controller, a 5 volt DC wall warp PCB, and a relay. The power supply powers the stepper motor and electronics fan, and the relay feeds power to the heating bands and is controlled by the temperature controller. The wall warp guts power the Arduino with LCD shield, which controls the stepper. Once the heating bands have got the plastic up to temperature, the user turns up the motor speed and filament is extruded. The first iteration of Big Squirta had a couple of problems we would address in future iterations. The first of which being melted plastic oozing out of the opening in the barrel and jamming the hopper. We think this happens because the rear heating band is too close to the hopper and is melting the plastic before it is securely in the mechanism. This jamming contributed to our second problem, which was burning plastic. The plastic that got stuck was exposed to the heat for longer than intended and would decompose into a black liquid that contaminated our filament and sometimes interfered with the extrusion process. Finally, while we did choose the most aggressive screw pitch the lathe was capable of, the shallow pitch still caused problems for our motor and made it difficult to extrude enough plastic to keep up with our heating bands. Thanks for watching our video about the latest development in plastic extrusion, and I'll see you when the pandemic is over, I guess. <laughs>